how to make a use case diagram using Modulio. So let's o let's open a software. I have already opened it here. Okay, uh, as you can see that uh, uh, a project by the name of use case is already created here. Uh, you can create yours by claim one file and then going to create a project option. Now in my project of uh, use case, uh, we need to make a use case diagram. So I, uh, I will right click here and click on create diagram as I need to make a use case diagram. So I will select use case diagram and click on OK. So this is my working area and uh, let's take an example of binary search. So let's uh, create a use case diagram for binary search. In a use case diagram, we have three elements. They are actors, the use case itself and our system boundaries. So the actors are represented by using human stick figures like this. So uh, in my use case diagram for binary search, I have created it, created an actor and I will rename it. Okay, so let's uh, rename it as user. Sorry. Okay, so this is my user and for binary search as we know that first we need to take an unsorted, uh, unsorted list of uh, elements we need to sort it and then we will perform the binary search operation on it so our, so our first use case will be uh, it will be uh, taking the input of the unsorted elements okay so i will write it input of uh, unsorted elements Okay, fine. I will just make it a bit smaller so that the other use case can fit into it. My next use case will be after taking the input of uh, unsorted elements, I need to sort it. Okay, so it will be okay. So let's uh, do that. I will add some other use case also here. Simplicity. Let's uh, give this use case the functionality of taking the input of the element to be searched. Input of element to be searched. Okay, fine. The next use case, uh, as I said, it will be sorting. Here we can use a, uh, any of the sort methods like quick sort or a bubble sort. Okay. Um, once I get in the sorted list, I will perform my binary search operation on that list. So let's uh, make an another use case for uh, binary search. Okay, fine. And the final use case after performing the binary search will be my output. That's it will give me the index of the array where my element is searched okay so it will be sorry sorry it will be output okay close now along with my along with my user my system will also have an inter interaction so i will create an, an another actor here Will be system. Sorry. Okay. Uh, as I know, that my user will give me the input. So I will create a communication link here. Then uh, the user will give uh, 
the input of the element to be searched. I will create an another link here. Uh, the binary search and sorting will be performed by this by this, this by the system. So I will create a link here, here and uh, in here. You, you can also create a link by in this way. Here you get an option. So you click on communication link. And the final link will be between uh, it will be user sorry oops what's going wrong here yeah and the system also here you can see it has got overlapped so it's it should not happen oh my god what happened to the mouse yeah it was a mistake hmm. so i think this is the proper use case diagram for uh, binary search so let's add a system boundary Okay, sorry. Should be a bit bigger. This is okay. Yes. So this is our use case diagram. As you can see, that user and system are the actors, and um, we have our use cases are declared here. They are the high-level functionality. Uh, not high level. They 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 are the functions which will be performed in the binary search, and the rectangle is indicating the uh, system boundary and we have uh, communication links i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel as learning stay tuned for more videos good day